Welcome to Brocast Millionaires podcast. Here's Elliot, who loves colours more than a kid loves candy. Omar, who might be colourblind, but sure knows the green of money. And Rabie, with enough hair gel to shine up a new listing. Keep watching and let those ears loose, just like Omar's, to catch every realty tidbit with the Brocast Millionaires trio. Are we live? Live. Are we? <laughs> Don't get nervous now. <laughs> Okay, we haven't done this before, but uh, <laughs> welcome to BAM. BAM. <laughs> Bam. Thank you for another episode of BAM. I'm here with Mr. Elliot Kemal Tuweg and Rabia Nazrala, or as Google says, Rabia. Rabia, I like this. Uh, Can I make yeah. a request? Uh, yes, go ahead. Please. please never do that intro again. Rabia? <laughs> what was wrong with the intro? If we go viral right now, you're going to regret that. Intro? that. What? Because that intro. The intro is the only viral. reason, yeah. I think this was, so first of all, <clears throat> I'm repping today. Can we zoom in here, Joad? Yeah, thank you. Uh, welcome to Lot for Realty, BAM episode number s- million. Something. 16, <laughs> 16, 17. Probably 16, 17. Something yes. like that. My yeah. guess was 17. 17. It was probably around there. Yeah. We need to get to 21 to be top, what, 1%? I don't remember what the stat was. That's yeah, what yeah. I think, something like that. 3%. This guy 3% called me this morning. He's like, oh, by the way, I'm wearing my lawful polo. I'm like, okay. Our, Why didn't anybody else get I would have worn mine. You could have worn yours. We it's not all mandatory, worn it but yeah, you guys didn't do it. Yeah. So. Well, because yeah. nobody told me to do it. I you have were, it. It's right you were go. already with a ponytail, and then you were already out on the road. So I could have stopped by my house and grabbed it. Yeah. I don't Anyways. believe him. <laughs> Uh, so, what did we want to talk about today? Uh, Rabia is out on a hall pass. Yeah. So, so, how does it feel? feels great to be out on a hall pass, guys. Let's yeah. go hang out. Let's go for drinks. Let's go do something. Okay, buddy. This is, we have an hour together. That's yeah. enough. <laughs> How long is your hall pass for? Does uh, it include driving time as well? She actually doesn't know I'm not home right now. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> get his ass. <laughs> well, let's let's have a moment of silence for Rabia. Yeah, for, when I get, for when I get home, she realizes I left. Yeah. People are gonna think that your wife is like the meanest person. I know she's really, actually the best. She's like super or really, Rabia is the mean one. Yeah, He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Let's not put true. on a good show. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. What uh, it so is. today we want to talk about uh, our experiences, our bloopers, our shortcomings. Uh, I don't have any, so they'll be talking about those stuff. <laughs> and uh, mainly, you know, like our successes. And that's what, the first we... one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bazinga. Oh, I get it. That was an insult. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you think you're perfect. You think, yeah, 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 and then, yeah. But I, I am. <laughs> My mother said I am. So yeah. my mom always said I'm special. Yeah, we yeah. know. On sale. <laughs> Omar, could you not find the shorts that fit your, you a little bit better? Or? The, these are, what's wrong with these? <laughs> these are Lulu's. Lululemon yeah. stepped up their game big time, eh? No, oh, yeah. Are you getting an endorsement from them? Is that oh, yeah, for is? sure. Hashtag. <laughs> what was wrong with you and my legs? Like, you know he's been going gym now. Oh, yeah. yeah I, know. <laughs> I, I can a, notice. I'm he's a gym rat. skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gym rat He's a skeleton now. now. <laughs> yeah. Yo, some people sweat so much for, like, doing a very basic exercise. Yeah. It's so crazy. Is like, one... At me no, or? not you. <laughs> no, because no, yesterday I was doing back. Yeah. Like, you know, obviously I work out, you know. Um, and then, you know, literally this guy's doing the same exercise. We started about the same time. I finish. He finishes. I see him walking to get water. The guy's full drenched. And I'm like, yeah. am I doing something wrong? Yeah, you're not working hard. Yeah, no. you're, you're using probably a fraction of the weight that the other guy's lifting. That's <laughs> what it is. Do you notice how much more weight he was lifting compared to you? No, are you, but going the, are you going to the gym with him? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you just? I want to see a video of I Omar have. working. I have. <laughs> like, so I want to see what this looks you know like. I have. You're so annoying. Oh, okay. Jawad, I'll send. Whenever we go talk about our bloopers and successes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we're we're talking about your now, bloopers of working out. Yeah. This is what. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my gosh! And it was purple and it was heavy and. And bro, it's like bro don't, tense, <laughs> don't tense up your neck so much when you're lifting, bro. You're going to hurt yourself. I don't know. I was just thinking of all the deals that you've done, and I was just so stressed. I was yeah. just like, <laughs> uh, I was like stressed this out guy, all the stuff. Bad, oh, man. my God. Ooh. The liability. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right. So tell me, uh, tell me a funny story from a time that you made a fatal error in real estate. Oh, okay. It was all a dream. 
I used to. Um, okay, so back in 2009, I bought I bought my first property. In 2010, I bought number two and three with with uh, a partner. And uh, so my brother and I are talking, and I'm like, "Hey, I bought this property, um, and there's a couple of boys that are going to live there, all students, and they're going to move in for September. We need to renovate the basement and make it into a, a legal like duplex." And then that slowly turned into a legal triplex as part of the conversation. Yeah, like what's, you know, what's another two kitchens? What's another washroom kind of thing? Anyways, at the time, CMHC, um, if you put like low down payments under 20%, you could do something called the purchase plus improvement. And that is, exists today as well. Back then, it was about 40000 bucks that you could get. So I tell my brother. Uh, I think that's actually still the same. Yeah, but uh, yesterday I heard for SDUs you could get up to a hundred thousand. But anyways, depending on the bank, uh, one of our uh, our clients told me that. Anyways, uh, so so he goes, yeah, forty k. So I'm talking to him and one of my buddies, and it ends up being that yeah, we could probably do most of it, maybe forty. It might just go up a little bit, like sixty, and we should be good. About six months later, I'm two hundred thousand dollars in it. <laughs> And way I, underestimated oh my way, god yeah because the i i think what happens with construction is that there's like scope creep okay scope creep is like you're you're reimagining the scope at every time and, and you're making decisions based on well that is the better solution that is yes i do want to do it this way yes i do want to have proper size you know bedrooms yes i do want to have a proper wash and then so by saying yes to a normal question uh, and you don't do the slumlord thing, your costs end up being that you're you're redoing, gutting the whole place. Yeah. And so if uh, a lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to do this. Like how much does it really cost to do a kitchen? Yeah, but there's all these different things that you have to. F- now all of a sudden where are you going to put this kitchen? You have to like open up this bedroom. Well, this bedroom is not. Like nothing is so simple. Well, once so you start opening things up, you're like, okay, well, while this is open, let's try and do that. That's and exactly like, while what that's open, that's what happened to me yeah. in my house. I don't remember the the, the house how yeah. the renovations I was supposed to do. We we're supposed to just basically do the tiles on the main floor. Okay. That, and and that then maybe it. just a couple lights or something like yeah, that. Yeah, a couple light fixtures <laughs> turn into redoing all the tiles, redoing the powder room on the main floor, redoing the laundry room, redoing the flooring on in my uh, living and dining areas, redoing new stairs. Windows. Uh, newing, the, the windows we were 50-50 oh, on yeah. regardless. Oh, we, stairs, yeah. Hardwood the stairs, upstairs. we ended up doing the new stairs. We ended up redoing the hardwood flares, floors upstairs. Yeah. We ended up putting in a walk-in closet for my wife. Yeah. Um, we ended up doing redoing the ensuite and we just redid the back. We basically redid the entire <laughs> two floors. And now he's just like on the fence whether he should do the basement or not. I want to do the basement. <laughs> I just can't I just can't spend I I just can't Scope justify creep. spending all that money right now. Yeah. The basement is in But the thing is shape. back then I didn't have the money. Yeah. We we had to hustle. Oh, I didn't who said I had the money. Oh no, yeah, but <laughs> like so we had to like borrow, we had lines of credit. My yeah. partner had another line of credit, so we used that. I I basically ended up getting rid of some like professional electrician and plumbers and so i did some of the work and got esa to come and the city to come and approve our work so by the way you could do your own work at home in your own get house it approved you just have to get it approved so they come in and uh, a buddy of mine had taught me how to do it he goes okay like this is like he like walked me through and stuff and i bought this book from home depot for like 20 bucks yeah best investment i've ever done now i know like electrical you're basically an electrician basically Bro. nice Professor, CPA, electrician, like the whole. It's all in your signature now. Yeah, it's really long. (laughs) Plumber. (laughs) I should do that high school diploma, (laughs) (laughs) like like everything you know, elementary school. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, so I find that that's what happens is scope creep. So to answer your question, it's not really funny, but it's like kind of depressing funny, but (laughs) almost. (laughs) Well, it's an experience, right? That you learn from and kind of changed your scope and on how you. So basically, if you think it's going to cost you a hundred grand, just double it. Or if you think it's forty, it's going to be five times. Or just get a (laughs) get a legitimate contractor to actually like put a quote diagram (laughs) and put a quote together. No, and honestly, when I asked them, like my brother and and my friend, when I asked them about the forty k, it was like, yeah, like we could we could do it. It'll be tight, but we could do it, whatever. But like it just like I said, 
the planning didn't include the thinking behind well when we open that wall what's going to happen when yeah. we open that one what's going to happen yeah we didn't expand it to that sense we just kind of said uh typically a renovation at the time yeah you could do a basement for twenty thousand, and then so times three was going to be 60 worst case and we already have a lot of the stuff in there so yeah we could probably do it for 40 but really you were gutting everything and yeah. then redoing yeah. from starting scratch. over yeah yeah that electrical thing by yourself i i had a client one time we were we were selling her place and she had had somebody come in and uh pigtail yeah um, so they had aluminum wiring i guess yeah. yeah so they had aluminum wire they actually had to pigtail all the receptacles and all the light switches and all this kind of stuff right yeah and uh so she just like hired a handyman to kind of come do it or whatever yeah and uh <laughs> so then we're like five years later six years later selling her house and in the inspection i guess the guy went in and did like two of them Oh. In the whole house. Oh, the whole no house. way. And he, like, obviously wasn't e e ESA certified, certified yeah. so he didn't have a certification or nothing. So it actually came back to bite her in the ass because oh she God. had somebody do it. And so she own. paid for everything. Yeah. Like, she, paid she paid for him to him do to the do whole place. I, I think two is an over-exaggeration, but he did, like, half or, like, yeah. a third of yeah, what he was yeah. supposed to do. Because like who the hell goes in and it's annoying, and yeah. Checks, yeah. Right? yeah. I like, spent like yeah. two days doing well, it. Well, there's like yeah. sixty sixty yeah. receptacles. I did in it for hours. a condo and it took me two days, let yeah. alone uh, yeah. yeah. Oh so yeah, gosh. that 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 doesn't always work and come back and bite you in the ass when you go sell it. Damn, yeah. It's chaos. Honestly, like uh so so in Ottawa and, and Hamilton, Toronto, whatever, okay, like, I keep reading about these there's a lot of things that are not done by permit. Okay. So I think like I'm always having these conversations and it really comes down to the client themselves like that's buying. And and so I have certain clients who are like, yeah, yeah, who cares? Like there's going to be a guy that's going to want to buy it even if it doesn't have a permit. Yeah. It's already cash flowing. It's this and that. I'm like, okay. But you might have a guy. You don't have the whole market. You don't have everybody yeah, that's yeah. interested in buying a duplex. Or, so that's the downside. So if you're going to buy a property like that and let's say you get it through financing, you get it through all this stuff, and you're willing to take on the risk, for God's sake, please get really good insurance. Like, don't mess around yeah. with your insurance. Yeah. Uh, the city will grandfather certain things, so you could do some due diligence on that and, and try to get, you know, approval after the fact. Try to get a fire rating after the fact, like uh, from the like from the fire marshal. Like, you could reduce your risk, but just to take it and then not do anything. And for pigtails, it's it's. Uh, I would say it's more important to do ESA for pigtails because it's associated to aluminum wiring and aluminum wiring has one of the highest levels of fire. Yeah. And hence why you have to go. Yeah. Well, it. nowadays insurance won't even, won't even like, cover it. they won't even yeah. insure you. Like half of them will just say no and half of them will just charge you up the ass and you I just, just it won't like, even be worth paying. I feel like if you're rolling the dice with a property like that, you should just have a contingency set aside and just bring an inspector in. Yeah, you know what I mean. Absolutely. Even if you can't, like in some cases, you can't get the inspection done as part of a condition. Yeah, but I would just bring in the inspector once I close and be like, "Okay, hey, take a look. Let me know what am I in for. Is there anything that I need to address like right away?" And yeah, then trying See, to address that's really, really things. what my client learned in that situation yeah. after when we talked about it. She was like, "You know what? I'm just gonna pay to do it properly <laughs> the first time. I'm not gonna because like she was obviously yeah. at the time just saving money. Like, oh, this guy's gonna do it for cheaper. But what's the so. what's the cost difference? It's not like a five to one. It's probably twenty percent, thirty percent difference. No, like double, double, triple, even. Yeah, but at the end of the day, she had to pay that price on. Anyways, yeah, exactly. On like she ended up paying pay more guy. because she did. I, I feel like you get what you time. pay for at the end of the day. Absolutely. So many people, like, yeah, but if you don't have the money, money like so, you well, know then, how we say, then, oh, they're trying to save don't money. Don't do it unless you absolutely have to. Obviously, in this case, it's different. There you go. But like, don't do it if you don't absolutely have to do it. That's it. And, or just do it properly. Figure out a way to do it properly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I try like uh with my properties I try to just have everything above board. And that yeah. way that's it, what he says on camera, but of course. No, it's true. Like <laughs> check out any of my properties. Check. Like they're always like we if, whenever we have a property, we go in and renovate at first and then that way it's it's zero headache, man. We don't have like the our property management is not very like uh busy on those properties. Mhm. Mm and the properties that we buy for clients, it's usually the same. And I think our if, property manager would have something different to say about that. 
No, like it's <laughs> no, not. No, I know. I'm just <laughs> but just you don't want because the, the more headache, yeah. like we're paid to remove headache away from, from clients. Yeah. But the headaches that we deal with are not necessarily like, oh, the slight They're small. Ball. They're, They're Yeah. Like They're it, very yeah. easy. Like I feel like you're fit. managing people more than you're actually doing anything with the Correct. properties. Yeah, just yeah, for sure. Making sure people most are Most landlords don't care about, like most landlords, property management, like what do you think it's, why, why do you think landlords hire property managers? Yeah. Is it because they don't want to go fix the fridge? Or is it that they don't want to deal with the tenancy laws or they don't know the tenancy laws or they don't want to deal with leasing? They just don't want to deal with I think a lot of it is like they're too busy to deal with that type of stuff. So they'll just outsource it. Yeah. You know, like I think it's all of that put together. Like they don't want to be bothered at 11 p.m. saying that the. It's also a lot. You have to have a lot of connections with different tradespeople, right? Something yeah. goes wrong. You got to be able to get a tradesperson in in a reasonable time. Yeah, re- and yeah, pay a reasonable right. amount of money. Yeah, you're right. At the yeah. end of the day, it's not about getting the deal. But if I know a guy and I use him for things, or I know, you know, Omar's got a guy that he uses a lot. Well, when I call him and say I'm coming from Omar, I'm gonna get a bit of a better price, hopefully. Yeah. Maybe I'll get charged more actually. Company. Yeah. You probably get charged double. But rather than calling a random company out of the yellow books, just for those of you who don't know what them. the yellow books are, that's like the yellow book phone book. They, you know, that has businesses you know in the yellow book? A phone book? Yeah. Are you being serious? Sir? I don't know what's if a phone, being serious. What's a phone book? A phone book? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them at the end of the day. Yeah, you I've, can never use use, it for armor. I've never used it. I know you what it is. You use it for armor. Yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't. Oh, you wouldn't even use it for armor. I've had it used on me as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> that's just shahata. It's yeah, different. That's, yeah, but when the shahata is not around, bro, <laughs> they'll take anything. Uh, can we have a, a a disclaimer what shahata means? Like we have, <laughs> it's, it's a slipper. slipper. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very scary slipper. Oh man. It's an ordinary slipper used as a weapon. <laughs> you know what's funny is when you get people from different countries in as tenants and they're not as familiar with your systems and you know you don't expect it. So I had a family from Nigeria and they had moved to Canada and uh, they were having a hard time finding a rental. And thankfully, my place became vacant. So I put them into my rental. Such a nice guy. Anyways, I went to go change <laughs> I went to go change the furnace filter. And the guy's like, you know, the cost of the, the, the heating is a lot more than what you told me it was going to be. Like, what can we do about this? I'm like, well, what do you have your temperature at? And he's like, well, right now it's turned off. But at night, we turn the heat back on and we put it to 26 degrees. At night? Yeah. Mm. So I'm like, wait a minute. You're telling me you turn off the heating system for the entire day in the winter time. <laughs> and then come nighttime, you're just putting it at full blast to heat up the house to sleep. You're like, yeah, like that's your problem right now. <laughs> and 26. And, and like, and like shame on me. Like I'm sure I showed him how to use it, but I guess I didn't think far enough to explain to him that you just keep it on and you don't toggle it on and off. Like it'll so, do yeah. it itself. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I went up, I looked at the heating. I'm like, okay, I said it. I'm like, just, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah like don't touch what anything. temperature you want my leave boy it, leave it at this temperature i'll check in Would with you, you in a 22? week it did like 21 22 it's a yeah. townhouse right so they're freezing a, i don't think so 21 22 really no i have a lot of friends that have a very high i actually one of my roommates from uh from university i liked it a bit hotter yeah he had the windows open in res like all yeah. the time yeah and we lived in the same apartment but we if there was a fight it was about one of two things that an onion smell. He probably wouldn't go nuts if I'm cooking. <laughs> oh <just> like, my <laughs> God. But like, he's like, what the hell is wrong with you, man? <laughs> That's the only thing me and my girlfriend fight about is the temperature. Temperature? So wait, are you running hot? Cold. You want it cold? I want it cold. Yeah. Like I'm 18, like you, bro. Him too. His house is fucking cold. I, I can't work it. in that house. My, bro, house, the my thing house is, is hot right now at 21. I'm dying. Yeah. No, man. I oh go to his God. house. I have to have a sweater. If I'm going over... There, I always have to have a sweater or a jacket even. Like, I'm just going to go sit in this, yeah, like, yeah. living room freezing Maybe, maybe once you gym a little bit longer, you'll be warmer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have reserves. Get some meat on you, bro. Get some meat on you. <laughs> My house is at 21 right now, and I'm dying. I have a fan on at night, so I can For see. sure. Like, oh I God. have to. I yeah, have but to, the man. thing is, is, like, it's easier to warm up than it is to cool down. Like, if I'm hot, how yeah. are you cooling down? But if I'm yeah, cold, I'm just, I'm just going under way. the blanket. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always sleep. I sleep with the same comforter, winter and summer. Same. Me, I just stick a leg out. You know? <laughs> I don't even yeah. sleep with a comforter. Really? Eh? Yeah. You know those thin sheets that goes yeah. under there? That's what I use. But um, I, yeah, I, like I, a must, I have to be even. covered. Even. I have to be covered. Yeah. No. I, I have to have a sheet or something. I can't sleep without. Well, that's why I have the sheet. Just so I can be covered, but even sometimes they'll just throw everything off. I'm just but like, so you know when you go to the hotel, you want to put the sheet so then you don't have the comforter. Yeah. Okay, so... 
I don't like it. Okay. Like it, like it has to be like a really nice sheet or something. But if it's too nice, then it's too soft. That Egyptian cotton. <laughs> yeah, Egyptian <laughs> thousand. <laughs> yeah. You got you got to go with bamboo sheets. Bamboo sheets. I'll take it the to the hotels. Like if yeah. I yeah. Okay. Just go to a nice hotel that has them already. Are you, are, are you being endorsed? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Bamboo. You Egyptian don't know bamboo cotton sheets? is way better. No, no, bamboo sheets are so much better than Egyptian. You know, my mom is gonna comment right now. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it stays cool, man. It's oh, it's so nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, a lot of people, uh, it's so funny to me, like about landlords versus like what peeves a landlord. Some people are like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I don't want to get these messages, you know? And, and I'm like, what, what messages? Yeah. Like, you know, my tenant asked me to like fix the I don't know, fridge. So I'm like, okay, that's your job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, okay, like, so what? But like some people just have zero patience for it. Like their yeah. life yeah. is like, you know, pre-planned like a bunch of things are going on so they don't want to uh like these things are like annoyances yeah but i go back to say okay well you're offering a service to somebody and the way i see it is that every apartment is half a salary half of somebody's yeah every apartment equals half an employee think of it from that perspective so if you got a duplex you on average have a full salary coming into you. And I know at the end of the day, people go, oh no, but I have my mortgage and I have my, okay, but, okay fine. Yeah, but someone's the, paying all that for you. At the end of the day, somebody's working nine to five and their first paycheck of the month, they give it to you. If you think of it from that perspective, these annoyances are not, and you have your own obligations, you have your own risks, I get it, okay? But at the end of the day, that's what's happening is the transfer of money is occurring this way. There's a full paycheck. What else are they spending that much? Oh, on? it's the same. They calculate, calculate your, your yeah. NOI without, without the mortgage, right? Like that's Correct. the money that's coming in. Yeah. It's just, you happen to have a loan on the property yeah. that you have to also pay. Yeah. yeah. Obviously it takes years to pay that off and you have to be patient and whatnot. And that's why I don't like the fact that CRA calls this a passive income. Yeah. Yeah. It's not passive income no. because there's always some sort of work to be done associated to the property. Yeah. But to earn the same amount of money, I get it. But like, still- like the work you're putting in for that money is like very minimal. Like how, how often are you getting the call? Oh, this needs to be fixed once a month even. Depends yeah, on the a, property though yeah. as well. Yeah. But I mean, I've been okay. Lucky. If you average it out though, like you're probably getting a call once. Yeah. Max it's twice that, a month. It's not that you know, bad. Like, at least on my end of the spectrum, it's not that bad. Yeah. It depends, yeah. So people just don't know how to use a thermostat. <laughs> this has been my issue with multiple tenants. You know, most 99% of all heating and cooling issues arise from the fact that people don't replace their filters. Yeah. Every yeah. single yeah. call we get, it's to the point now where we just do trouble. We don't even send a handyman in. Yeah. Did you replace yeah. the filter in the past three months? Uh, well, I'm tr- I'll ask my, um, no. So <laughs> just, just change Just change it. it. So I'll tell Turn off the do. system and then the AC will start working after 24 hours. Yeah. So what I do is I actually set a reminder to go change the filter myself every three months. So that way, number one, I know the filter is being changed. Yeah. Number two, I can check in on the property. So that's so, nice. Uh, just um, don't say that publicly. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just, I don't know that. Wrong. Yeah. I don't know that I would have the time to do it. Unfortunately. Well, but, thankfully, yeah. like right now I only have the one rental property that I yeah. have to be concerned about. And it's like literally three minutes. From You're the not embarrassed house. that you just have one. No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> wow. I'm fine with that. You see what people are like. <laughs> yeah. This is called. So, okay, I, had to, I, had, I had to get rid of my other ones. <laughs> yeah. To kind of make some other moves. That's, it's yeah. okay. So, you know, That's it true. is what it is. I managed to hold on to one, which I'm happy with. Um, but so yeah. so what's the percentage of people in Canada that own more than one property? You tell me. I have a feeling you have an answer. I'm going to say it's it's 5%, maybe under 5. W- what's I your, think more than one? More than one property. More than one two like or more. more than one rental? No, properties. Two or more ownership. Two or more? 20%. 20. Is it 20? Not bad. He's okay. half Egyptian. Obviously he's okay. smart. <laughs> Is that Colin? Is that Egyptian Colin too? No. <laughs> no. It's Jordan Colin. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> He's, uh, his ancestors are from nah, Egypt. Yeah, exactly. That's, exactly. Everything ties back. Yeah. Actually, a buddy told me that uh, Egyptians invented scissors. Really? Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah so, what's up? Is he like a scissor historian or? It's a specialty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very niche. Yeah. Scissors <laughs> are his specialty. <laughs> like, can you imagine? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and um, I don't know where I was gonna go with that. Yeah, okay. So, and then how about three or more? I bet you that goes from twenty down to like seven. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let Elliot answer, and then I'll answer after. Yeah. So you said seven. Seven percent. I'm gonna say eight. Ten. Okay, I'm closer, Elliot. Fuck. <laughs> and then four or more. Four. Five. Point five. What? Four point five. Mm. One. Really? Well, yeah, that makes sense. Actually, that it's gonna jump that much. Yeah. And then because people then, are gonna call it cap out at some point in terms of what they can afford and what they're willing to take on to. Yeah. So it sure. makes sense. Yeah. Now, then when you're started, saying property, do you mean proper actual physical properties or do you mean units? Properties. Okay. Titles. Titles. Okay. Yeah. How many deeds do you got? Okay. A lot. Mm. <laughs> like twenty one seven. Yeah. Is that what it's called? What? The artist, what's his name? Twenty one Savage? Artist formerly known as Prince? No, a lot. Oh. Who? I don't know. <laughs> you know Prince? The musician? Yeah. Yeah. Or the <laughs> artist. I don't know. The artist formerly known I don't known know as him Prince. or her. Yeah, you know, like, you know, you <laughs> heard of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, good, good. Uh so yeah, so one percent. But I find that well, all I'm trying to get to is that there's there's a point in time where you have to realize that you're running a business. <laughs> And a lot of people get annoyed with it. Sorry. What? Uh, no, I... <laughs> say it. You still think about Prince? <laughs> say it. I, like, I just pictured in my head over I was about to say all I'm trying to get at is that I'm in the 1%. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I said it for him, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no. He must have messaged you before. Coming yeah, yeah, yeah. Elliot, I'm going to hit with all these stats. No wonder you know all Listen, the Listen, I have my lot. <laughs> this is fixed. It's fucking fixed, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fixed the fixes yeah. in yeah oh my goodness you had any uh super stupid moments in real estate i had one kind of recently what i uh okay so <laughs> oh i have one about Araz. i'll tell you okay after. okay <laughs> Araz is gonna kill you bro yeah i uh i had these clients that i've worked with before and then they they were moving so i go to start taking them on showings right but the husband works out of town so i was just I, and all my communications with the husband but he was out of town so i took his wife and his kids on showings okay so we book <laughs> we book a showing on the street and it's like a newer development so there's a bunch of listings on the street okay okay and i misread the number oh boy that that i was like going to show right the map brought me here and I saw a lockbox on the thing, and they were parked in front of that house. So I just made the <laughs> assumption. Okay. And like the sign, then whatever. There's no sign. Oh, okay. There's no sign. There's just a lockbox. Okay. Even on the one I was supposed to see, there's no sign. Okay. So I go, hey guys, you know, all this, right? I go to the door. I'm like, oh, the combination's not working. What the hell? Okay. I call the realtor. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man. And you're bitching him out. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, did you change the lockbox or something? Because, like, the combo's not working. And the guy goes, no, man. Like, it's right. Like, it yeah. works. I'm like, um, I don't. Anyways, and as we're doing this, somebody comes to the door. Oh. So I'm like, oh, you know what? Never mind. Door's open. I'm good. And <laughs> <laughs> he's probably confused. Yeah, yeah. he's confused, right? Yeah. He's like, he's I tell the people at the door. I'm like, hey, we're just here for the showing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just on the phone with your real Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yo, listen, like, we'll be in and out to, like 10 minutes max, you know, yeah. just like a townhouse. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, what are you talking about? But they're like, okay. And then they yeah, walk yeah. out. No, seriously. Like, she was about to let me in and everything. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, hold on. But like, <laughs> we just moved in. So like, oh. what are you doing showing Oh, it's like a for? tenant or something. Yeah. Like yeah. a tenant had just moved in. Oh my God. So that's why the lockbox was still on the door. Oh my God. And I'm looking like a goof really? in front of everybody. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and I'm trying to convince these people, like, yeah. no, I'm here for a show. And I'm both together. look. <laughs> yeah. And then I look and I'm like, no fucking way. I'm like, you know what, guys? You're right. Have a Go great on. day. And then we went no to the next door. Or anything, yeah. right? I'm like, <laughs> just you're right. I didn't know how I was going to put it. Right? Like, I didn't want to look like the idiot. You yeah. know? So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're, oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what, guys? I'm so sorry. And then we go. No, but they, these things happen. Like, and I yeah. told my clients, I'm like, listen, 
I apologize, but we're going into this yeah. one over here. <laughs> and then the combo worked. So then the realtor obviously like yeah. followed up with me after and was oh like, hey, like. Gosh. But you know how many times like I get like a showing time notification, like a, we get approved to go see a property and then I show up and then they like nobody lets us in. They're, yeah, there's no code there. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's that's happened like to me worst. so many times. And I roll up to a property and there's no code to no. actually get into a lockbox. <laughs> yeah. No, worse is you like. I don't know about you guys, but before I leave, like I don't always go and check every single access code and where it's located. Oh, it, yeah, it's on the it's on the property. Yeah, but certain condos are like, oh no, Off-site. you gotta go to their office. You know, yeah. I'm doing a showing in Westboro. Fifteen minutes yeah, away. Go. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah. well, you just killed my freaking tour. Yeah, and I'm going like, why is it condos like they're like, oh, we don't want we don't want log boxes. Yeah. Like why? Yeah, like how does that make man. any sense? I did a I did a tour um, literally yesterday. Okay. literally at uh at a condo like building not figuratively yesterday More literally. well literally you know <laughs> the lines are blurred anyways but i so i booked three in the same building yeah okay and i had to walk that's a new six minutes this way <laughs> then six minutes this yeah. way and then for the third one the realtor had to come meet me to give me the keys in the lobby. Wait, what's the six minutes each way? Where the keys are? Yeah. They're yeah, not even they were in the, in the same building. No, 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 because you can't put a lockbox on the building. Yeah. yeah. You understand which building yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, right? I know exactly. Okay. So then I had to go to the one so down nice. the street. Yeah. You know, towards the water. Yeah. And then I had to go the other way. Oh and it was on God. a random light post, oh like next gosh. to the government of Canada's side. Yeah. So I got those keys. Then I go in the lobby. I meet a realtor because usually there would yeah. be a tenant to leave the door open but the tenant was out of town but so to allow it she came to give me the key right so then i meet my clients in the lobby i grab the keys from her i'm like okay let me do this one first so you can get out of here yeah and like i appreciate you letting letting this happen anyways right so i go with my clients upstairs we go to the door the key is the wrong key for the door no <laughs> oh my God. so then i'm set, I'm, I'm there i'm like yeah like did you double check it's that not, it was the right door? I, I did. I did. And I and that's Were you in the right building? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was the right door and everything. And then I'm like, I think I'm not stupid, but do you guys want to try? So yeah. I, let, I let the client try and it doesn't work. Thank God. <laughs> then, yeah. So yeah. Sometimes then, you got to wiggle. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And maybe I don't key, have the finesse, not your body. you know? You what? Know, you, wiggle both. Say, wiggle the key, not the body. Yeah. It's, same same i usually wiggle both yeah <laughs> at the same time yeah. like it's like a chain reaction exactly yeah. <laughs> anyway, so then i have chain to call reaction. the lady to come upstairs and try herself she's like this is the key they gave me i don't know why it doesn't work i'm like okay at least i don't look like the idiot isn't it's that like, the okay. worst man when you're doing a showing and you just can't get in to see it you like, know what i mean but that's a dead deal yeah because unless like there's well that's property a management unique. had a master key so we did end up getting in okay but the key that the land or the owner had given to the realtor was not the right key for the thing. So it's not even her fault. Like she would yeah. just assume that yeah, that was the right key. Yeah, and then probably the seller or right? tenant been laying them in this exactly. whole time. So, exactly. Yeah. So they never actually knew that that was the case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, like that that's, uh, that that happens. Like sometimes when the log box is not like identified properly or something like that, nobody could get in. Or sometimes realtors, they're like, oh, I think it's this one. This is Omar's and this is Elias. And then they switch the keys. Yeah. And then now we have yeah. to like go back how many different showings. Are, yeah. But you you effectively, every showing is important, right? So if, yeah. if we don't have that person showing up or showing up and then not getting in, but there's two other listings and they're very, very comparable, well, they might yeah. sell before you but just yeah. just simply because of the that. other the other fear i had is that i was going to put the keys in the wrong lock box oh, yeah, yeah. so i took a picture yeah. of the keys as i took them out the lock box so i knew which one goes where yeah exactly or like the serial number but they should be tagged or something yeah i just don't love sometimes to... they are man sometimes they're not it's yeah just... yeah because tagging them like if you know there's a lot of units in that building for sale then or rent and stuff tag, tag them, them. But the problem with tagging is there, it does happen where people drop the key somewhere and they lose them. And but now then somebody has a key to somebody. And then it. now they have the number and everything, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'd rather you just put your name. Yeah, rather than uh, the actual a color. Number. Yeah, a ribbon. I've a seen, ribbon. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah. you know, but then log boxes are finicky. So you put too much stuff and then now it doesn't close properly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Another funny story I have I had a client crash into my car. No. Oh, yeah. I had a client do that too. Like they, they, <laughs> after yeah. I sold their house, like see, oh, like, see me, oh it was before. Gosh. Oh, so I was like, so you guys are absolutely buying. We're placing an <laughs> offer now. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I I showed the the husband and wife this house, right? But they came separately because one of them was going to work and one of them, anyways. So then we're I'm in the basement with the husband and the wife's like, okay, I'm heading out. Yeah, I'm going to work. Yeah, this side the other. Okay, bye. Hit the da, bumper, da, da. bro. I'm parked across <laughs> the street. Oh, okay. oh, that means she's going full blast. <laughs> That's it. Oh. <laughs> My did that. And we're in the basement, right? And then like 10 minutes later, we hear the door go again. And we're like, oh, that's weird. And then she's at the top of the stairs. She's like, um, Elliot. Uh, and I come and I'm like, yeah, what's up? Like, I thought you're going to work, you know? She's like, well, um, funny story. Maybe I might have uh, backed into your car. <laughs> <laughs> This is your old car or this car? My old car. Oh, okay. God. Car. Imagine it was this car. Ooh. Bro, this was like my first year in real estate. Yeah. And, I, and like, I, w- <laughs> I was oh, like, boy. what the fuck? <laughs> this job sucks. <laughs> Could you imagine, you know? No, yeah. But no, she, she was more mad at me. Like, I, yeah, like yeah, yeah. literally, it was like a little mark and like, it was all good. Like, it yeah, my, that big my client, deal, but... uh, yeah, like, it was at night. We were parked. Um, and anyways like everything was fine it's just like it like skimmed it but we have sensors in the in the bumper right yeah and so it like kind of killed that and it killed something else like on the bumper itself mm. anyways my mechanic was able to do it like it didn't even cost like maybe 1500 bucks yeah. or like it wasn't like it wasn't not even <laughs> no because like it's an audi like it's just it's gonna be <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> nobody gives a fuck that you're driving you know what i mean like well cena does cena He's trying to flex cena <laughs> <laughs> Cena always you always might as well be driving a Honda Civic man <laughs> what's wrong with oh that you God. I don't get me with your no. transformer <laughs> yeah, car yeah, you, love you love my car you love my car transformer like today it wasn't even working I'm talking to him on bluetooth he'd say hello hello <laughs> by the way Rabia when he talks for all of Rabia's clients okay when when he picks up the phone <laughs> see what you've started does it sound like he hates you <laughs> only when he calls yeah every time I, I don't have that experience yeah, every time I'm like <laughs> Hey, Rabia, how are you? Hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what's... Yo, did I do something? He's like... Yeah, you're constantly insulting him. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. Somebody not, gets it. Not even. Oh, not man. constantly. Because he answers the phone to me. Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go. This is bullshit, though. So then now he so now he's I'm trying to change up the way I answer my phone, and he makes fun of me for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like bro, what do you want? Do you want me to be nice, or do you want me to not be nice? Because there's no winning with this guy. I feel like a relationship me. therapist yeah. right now. <laughs> it's because he couldn't hear me today, so he's like, "Hello," and then and then he's like, "Hello." Hello. Hello. <laughs> and he's like practicing all these. Things. And I'm like, I can hear you. I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, stupid Bluetooth. Oh, man. Yeah. That's so funny. That's what happens when you fucking guy, man. Rabia. Um, you know what's funny? What I find is clients always park in the wrong spot. <laughs> I had this one client. And you know who I'm talking about. I don't know if you remember <laughs> this one. I used to come home after showing so I'd call Omar and I'd be like, bro, you won't believe what happened again today. He's like, what? I'm actually parked in front of a no parking sign again. (laughs) And it's like flat in front of the no parking sign. And like, I always try to leave a space open for my client. Mm -hmm. I will park down the street and around a corner to ensure that they have the closest spot. Yeah. And so I'll stop in front of a spot and I'll point and I'll flag. I'll do do whatever I can. You know? Rivia. And like, <laughs> but like they just constantly. And so this one just comes to mind, but it happens all the time where they literally park right in front of an old parking sign. And then they get out and I'm like, guys, I think people just don't care. I don't think they realize I, it. I get it though. Cause I don't care. Yeah. So I think Maybe. people don't care. <laughs> Seriously. No, and so you're, you're thinking they're oblivious to it. You, they're like, Oh, he pointed it out. Fine. I'll go move it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I, tell them, I like, think listen, that's more what it well, is. I always tell my guys, if you want to risk it by all means, but like, if you but get once a you're having the conversation with somebody about it, then that's what it well, is. I'm trying to they save think them you're the silently ticket, judging them. No, man. Yeah. I'm judging <laughs> But I'm just trying to save them. I'm trying to save them the ticket, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, I get it. Me, me, it's when I park on the street so they could have the driveway. Yeah. Oh, my God, And then they man. park on the street further than me. I'm like, brother, the I, driveway I is wide saying, open. Yeah. Like, and so I always I, tell them, I'm like, yeah. guys, I'm leaving the laneway open for you. If there's a laneway and there's no car in it, park there. Yeah. I'm not parking in there. Yeah. 
See, I just, I always do the same thing. And then the other day I did park down the street and around the corner and then they followed me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I love them for you. And like, oh, but we didn't know. I was like, okay. Yeah, sometimes that. they just follow us. Yeah. They're not really looking at their GPS. They just yeah, see us know and that go the to back there. Yeah. Like, well, now we all got to walk. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. But if they have kids and stuff, there's like, absolutely, like, they have to have the driver. Yeah. Because like by the time, but I remember during COVID, we weren't even allowed to bring kids and stuff. Yeah. Now it's easier, but yeah. still no touching stuff. But like, uh. Yeah, sometimes it's a nuisance, man, because people don't watch their kids. And then I have to become a watcher of the kids, and now I'm no longer showing the property anymore. Yeah, I would say it's very, very, like, I'd say nine. The parents are looking at Ruby. It's like, yo. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think I actually got a client angry because, like, their kid, they brought them more than once. And they kept, like, running around and screaming and crying and trying to touch things. And then, like, you know, you always try and be polite. Oh, no, don't touch that. You know, that's not your house and whatever, this and that. And the mom would like yell at them. And then at one point, I'm like, hey, you know, you have to be careful because, you know, if you don't listen, and you don't stick around with us, then mom might not be able to bring you for the next show. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then I never had another show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I pissed them off or no. like whatever. See, me, but like, I'm, I'm the one to worry about because I'd be breaking shit. <laughs> 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 but one time I went to open the cupboard and the whole cupboard door <laughs> came off. No, but how, <laughs> it's not me, obviously, so, yeah. but like, I'm just like, I'm just like looking around myself and then my client's asking them and I open the door and I'm like, oh man, they're looking I'm, at me like, who's like, yeah, what? I've, I've got a good one. Actually, I was showing a, uh, a condo and, uh, and the client just wanted to open the blinds. It was the middle of the night and the guy wanted to open the blinds to look outside. So he See goes and opens like. them. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, like, why'd you open them, man? Like, okay, fine. I go to close the blinds and it's finicky. So I'm just trying to do it. Next thing I know, the blinds come crashing down. No. Come crashing down onto the computer and the computer, uh, the computer monitor. Oh, so I'm like, shit, I don't see any oh, cracks. Yeah, I, I don't remember. see any, you remember that. Eh? I don't yeah. see any damages. I grab a chair. I put everything back and I realize it was never actually secured and properly. Mm. So anyways, I leave and the people who were living there at the time were actually just sitting in their car waiting for the showing. to finish. So they watched it happen. So I don't know if they saw it happen, but I told them like, hey guys, like just so you know, like you might want to secure your blinds because they fell down and I'm definitely not going to be the only one who tries to open or close those blinds. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of normal you know, to so just, see. You know, just sure. be careful, right? I'm like, I looked at nothing seemed to be damaged, but like, whatever. Anyways, the next day I got a call from the agent. Hey, you know, uh, I heard that there was an incident last day. I'm like, yeah, it's, I talked to them and I told them exactly what happened. He's like, well, they tried to turn on the computer screen today and it's cracked down the middle when it's turned on. Like, they just like the screen won't work oh, properly. Yeah, okay. Damn. I'm just, and they're like, he just got it for Christmas. It's a Christmas gift. I'm like, I'm like, all right, man. I'm like, just fucking. But it's really not your fault. It's like, not, but like it felt bad at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. And the agent was pretty cool about it. He's like, listen, man, I know it's not your fault. It's yeah. not my fault. He's yeah. like, why don't we split this 50 50? Good. So nice. I'm like, okay, I sourced, I think, yeah, I, think. I sourced it. And then I told him, he's like, okay, then I'll just send you X amount. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, what happened to 50 50, bro? He tried to yeah. shortchange me like an extra $100. Oh, no way. Which I'm just like, listen, at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world, but it's the principle. You agree to 50 50. Like why? Why change it? Idea, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm being. I'm being. I would have paid for it in full, but you offered. Yeah, like in fact, like whoever installed it. Yeah. Like, how is that your like? Anyways, I would do this. I would take yeah, the high road course. as well, but of that's course. not fair. Like, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Think, okay, so you know how in MLS it says bedrooms, and let's say there's some basement apartment, like basement uh, bedrooms. It would say like let's say three bedrooms upstairs, two bedrooms in the basement, so yeah. it'd be three plus two. Yeah. Yeah. On our database, it would say above grade windows, below grade bedroom. Uh, bedroom sorry, yeah. above grade. Okay. Uh, there's no main floor for some reason. It doesn't say, but yes, yeah, above or below. Yeah. So I'm telling you, Raz, okay, yeah. So, you know, uh, for this client, they don't want any like um, basement basement bedrooms. Bedroom. They want only the upper units. She's like, okay, but it'll take me some time. Like she's helping me with the research, whatever. She said, okay, but it'll take me some time. There's like a hundred of them. I'm like, a hundred? Like, no way. I'm like, yeah, that's like, but filter only for the top units. And she's like, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going to do. So like an hour later, I'm like, you done? She's like, no, I'm still going through them. I'm like, half, I'm like, what the hell? Why is it taking so long? And I'm like, just like do zero below grade, just only for the up, uh, above grade. And she's like, below grade? Oh, I thought below grade meant like the bedroom was not like up to standard. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> below grade <laughs> and she i'm like 
Why would somebody have a bedroom that's not up to standard? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they name that? Because there's so many of them on yeah. that list. She's probably like, oh yeah, that bedroom is too small. The closet's not big. <laughs> She's trying to do this extra like, due diligence. Yeah, so I'm like, what the hell? You're so a hard I'm, worker though. I'm going to step in. She I'm went gonna... through a hundred. I'm like, all these years we've been working together. She's like, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm going to step in for a second and defend her as. Yeah. Because communicating with Omar sometimes, her? that part of that too. <laughs> communicating with these people sometimes. Times, and when I say these people, I'm talking about Omar and Araz. <laughs> they speak their own language to each other and they speak in point form to the point where nobody else understands it. Okay. Yeah. And then you go and ask what they're talking about and they yell at you and berate you and belittle <laughs> oh you like you are a complete God. moron yeah. Yeah. for not understanding their language. And I'm yeah. like, at this point, I just don't know. Do I just play stupid, pretend like I know what's going on and try and figure it out? That's what I do. Do I ask the question? <laughs> like, yeah. It's not uh, casual, you know? Yeah, yeah but I hope just, you don't yeah, get picked up. Yeah, <laughs> a lack of understanding doesn't mean that we're you berating think, him. You, you guys think he's bad on camera. Imagine what, what he does to us off camera. <laughs> oh my God. I'm the nicest guy in the fucking world. It's not my fault that you have a stupid ponytail. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> it begins. It begins. I don't oh know. Do you even like his ponytail? Like, you're new. Like, tell me the truth. Okay, get out of you're here. New. You know what? I want Jacob back. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or are you cousin? Yeah, if oh, you yeah, would have been here on time, yeah. you would have been here for the conversation. You remember 15 minutes late yeah. during that 15 minutes we were talking about. Yeah, we, yeah. we got, to, got to know Dan. Cent, not 15 cent. Okay, forget it. That was a bad joke. You know he's playing at Blues Fest. <laughs> yeah, I heard. That, F- that's heard. Yeah, tomorrow or sorry, Saturday. We're jo- that's tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. Are we doing a team building activity? No, no, I'm busy. So then why? <laughs> I was just saying because you said Fifty Cent. I don't even know where it came from. I think but... Nas is going to be here next week. That one I might go to. Oh yeah, yeah. Nas... If you need a date, let me know. I'll let you know. I'm on. Nas was like back in the nineties, maybe even eighties. I, I know. Yeah. Who? You know Nas? Yeah. Well, I know I don't know him. He's but still relevant. <laughs> like you're not BFF. He still puts music out. Nas puts music once in a while. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard anything recently from him. Oh, well, that's your fault. Uh, did you guys ever wear? You probably uh, did. You ever wear Le Chateau and stuff? Or? No. No. How about like stitches? Stitches? No. I wasn't into that. Did you? Were you was stitches around no, for you? I probably wasn't around. Yeah, I'm a Nike boy though. Stitches was around, but you did. Nike? I just didn't wear it. How about guess? Yeah. Guess, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And did you guys go like raving ever when you were younger? Not a big raver. No. I have. Big party. <laughs> I have a few times. It's funny. I feel I like Rabia is like a big party animal. Like, And he's like, you know, tries to look like... He looks like a priest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell him the story. I was actually just going to yeah, tell him the story. story. This is a, a real story. This is a real story. So um, my wife's grandfather passed away. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. And um, we're at his house, basically, traditionally speaking, when somebody passes away, um, everybody just comes to the person's house, even though their family's grieving and probably should be left alone. You end up having like 50 to 100 people in your house, eating, drinking, reminiscing, whatever. Um, and yeah. so I'm sitting there in a chair on my own and everyone's there talking. And then some lady walks in, one cousin walks in and she's saying hi what, to everyone. What are you wearing at this point? I think I was just wearing I brought probably all black because I'm black, at, yeah. at, at uh, you know it's a, a somber it's not a funeral we're just sitting at the house but it's kind of a somber situation yeah so I'm just sitting there and lady comes in says hi to everyone says hi to me we go about she's talking blah 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 somebody brings up oh this is Amanda's husband she's like oh my god this is Amanda's husband she's like I'm coming in saying hi to him I thought he was the priest <laughs> <laughs> she's giving him all this respect he's like man people are really nice <laughs> <laughs> he's oh like God. i don't know how to slip it in like yeah. i'm a realtor but <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah it's, that's not the first time somebody thought i was a priest though it happens all the time really yeah because of the beard i'm orthodox right so then the orthodox christian i don't want to say in their faith but like a lot of the priests and stuff like that have big beards longer hair and oh so it's just common to see why is that i had some just tradition, tradition yeah yeah Interesting. But yeah. So even the priest will comment from time to time and be like, oh, you're ready to join the clergy or the priesthood. Stop but that. you've already got the beard for it. Now Do you get insulted? Get you. No, not at all. Do you get what? Insulted? <laughs> Why would I get insulted? I don't know. No. I wouldn't mind. Oh, it. yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Okay. So have you had any like weird situations in uh, like with tenants? 
with tenants. Yeah, like funny, funny situation with a tenant. Have you ever like experienced something like that? Uh, not funny, but well. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, we rented this unit. The landlord's a good friend of mine. Yeah, rented the unit out, and we cooperated with another agent. Okay, guy comes in, cool, moves in. First day he's supposed to pay rent, doesn't pay rent. Oh, I'm like what the hell? <laughs> okay. So then trying to communicate with him, not answering whatsoever. Won't answer his phone, won't answer a text, nothing. So then I just go to the door and be like, hey, man, like what happened? <laughs> <You know? laughs> like we just, At least yeah. so just go up to people's doors. Yeah. And like, hey, no, man, I don't what care. happened? Because like for me, I'm, I was in charge of getting a tenant in this place yeah. for not yeah, yeah, only my client, course. but my friend. So like, you're not going to pay him. I'm going to come find out. <laughs> like what? What's going on? Yeah. yeah. And I just was like, I hey, man, what, what's going on? And there was a bit of a language barrier, we'll say. Okay. Anyways, he invites me in. Cool. We have this whole conversation. He says this, that, the other. Like you I'm guys like, sat down. Yeah. Because like then I'm like, now. I'm like, listen, man. <laughs> Do you want to buy a house? Whatever, right? Because <laughs> the problem was is his agent, what he's saying is that his agent didn't communicate that the, the laundry wasn't going to be ready yet on move-in, which the landlord was more than happy to give them money to go get their laundry done because oh. it was going to be a month before it was okay. ready kind of thing. So he's explaining this to me. I'm like, brother, if you would just answer your phone yeah. to the landlord, you would have had he your will solution. solve this like this. He'll solve your problem. We get it. It's inconvenient. Oh, but but he, like you were supposed to know this before you came yeah, in, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, okay, whatever. Da, da, da. Pays the landlord that night. One month later, doesn't pay rent. <laughs> okay. What's his problem? Right? So then we're like... <laughs> Like why? Are you, why are you? Like, oh see, my god! See, yeah. Okay. So now we're like, okay, now what? <laughs> so so then we is good we now. do up the what is the N four? Uh, N yeah. N four is the mispayment. You're supposed yeah. to pay in a certain amount of time, and then if not, we're going to landlord tenant board. All this type of stuff, right? Yeah. So I go again, and I go. Listen, now this is the second time. I thought we talked about this. I thought we were good. Now I have to give you this pays that night okay okay so then now so it's, now it's like okay i'm just gonna you. put in my calendar question the first time he wasn't answering his phone yeah so he had to go visit him the second he wasn't time. answering again he doesn't again, answer okay. no communication okay. like zero that, that's a problem like you could there's a lot of problems that occur in the house yeah between, they can be solved just communicate man. that's it yeah the guy was like 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 super like he's trying to work with him he's not even mad about it he's yeah. just like yo like you need an extra week like let me know like it happens yeah you know what of, i mean yeah. like some landlords are really sticky about it though yeah but this like, guy uh, not not yeah at all, right but, but most people i would say they're pretty so then bad. when i saw him we were like we're also working in that same building on a different project so we were there and i was there with the landlord and we were talking to the contractor or whatever and then we're like okay well let's just go talk to this guy and see how we can solve this moving forward because i don't want to have to come back here every, every month time. like i'm gonna have to put in my calendar <laughs> bring an N4, bring an N4. You know what I mean? I'm just like going to have them pre-dated. Pre, you know? Yeah, pre-write them. So then we go upstairs, right? <laughs> Again. <laughs> but now it's me and the landlord, right? So now I can formally introduce these guys, right? He opens the door. He says, oh, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> and we go upstairs. So he's like a genuinely nice guy. Like, like he's a nice guy. Like he's, he's not, inviting he, you into his house. Yeah, like, like he, like, I think the problem is he just doesn't care. Okay. It's not that he's like purposely, there's a, like he speaks he's, English, he's but it's careless. like a bit of a barrier yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So we go in, right? And what does this guy have on the floor? But like, what looks like a hookah slash a bong. Okay. <laughs> and my friend goes, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> the guy goes, oh, it's uh, it's Indian hookah. Okay, yeah. Or and I think there's I don't know what they're smoking in it, but yeah. <laughs> it wasn't they're weed. It, something. It yeah. wasn't weed, but it, like it wasn't anything I've ever seen before. Like, yeah. And before we say anything, he goes, "No problem, I fill it." <laughs> <laughs> and he starts filling it, right? And we're like, "No, no, no!" Like we're just here for five minutes. This, that, the other. Da, 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 yeah. And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." One sec. So he goes in the kitchen. He starts filling it up. He starts doing all this shit, right? He comes in and he's like, "Here." Yeah. I'm like, I don't know what's in that. I don't smoke. <laughs> My friend goes, 
If you're going to pay rent on time, <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit it. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, guy, <laughs> this thing, I've never seen this contraption, contraption before. I don't know what was in it. This yeah. and the other. I'm like, are you crazy? Like, <laughs> just like yeah. anyways, he hit it. He was fine. And yeah. he, he said it was rent? very harsh. And then he paid rent and he's been paying rent ever since. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time. Just have a smoke. Yeah. yeah have a smoke. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Different cultures, different things, you know, like everybody has their different methods right so with like certain like uh arabic tenants for instance i know that if i say hi you've missed rent and if i'm very abrupt or rude or something like that they're gonna take offense they're gonna take offense yeah. even like because to them it's like well things happen like it's okay like yeah, you know course. you got carried away whatever just be nice pick up the phone say yeah. hi you know pass by yeah have a drink have tea you know, I'm like, I just want the rent, man. I just, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm trying to run, you know, like I'm, I'm like working and everything. Like you don't have time. That's the problem. Yeah. So people get very antsy about the money and whatnot. And then that starts a bad relationship. Once a bad relationship happens, then both sides start to take, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's a big thing. Like having just a good relationship with your tenant so that yeah. they feel comfortable enough. Because some people, it's a pride thing too. Like if I'm just like late or something, like I don't even want to tell you like i don't want to yeah. be the person that's like hey like i don't have the money yeah but i exactly. owe you money yeah. you know so like for some people it's like that but if you start off good you know friendly whatever yeah, yeah. absolutely then it's a little bit easier for them to be like hey listen like i just need an extra three days or four days or a week or whatever yeah. sometimes yeah. okay hey like uh some unexpected expenses yeah my matrix my car down. Blew up. Things happen. yeah my car <laughs> my client drove into my car yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know things like that like things happen you know and yeah so it's okay you just have to have a bit of a bit, a bit of uh i guess not respect but like you know just one, time I, it. one time Kindness. i walked to a showing because traffic was so bad <laughs> You walked to a show? Yeah, because I was in the car with uh, my girlfriend. Yeah. And I could see the house, but the, like the street I was on, back to back to back to back and like was not moving. Yeah. The light would go green and two cars would go and then it would go red I'll again. I was there for 20 minutes. Like, and at this point now I'm five minutes late and I'm, and, and I'm so far <laughs> away, literally. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I gave her the car. Maybe. And I walked. <laughs> yeah. The clients were you there outside. They're this. like, um, because me i come walking around the corner you know <laughs> hey guys you know they're like um don't you hate when when you go to a new <laughs> development and it's like there's like four houses that were developed on that street so gps doesn't even know where yeah, the hell yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, yeah. i was like exactly it, it thinks you're inside a forest you yeah. know <laughs> then, no, I, and so in, i have uh, no clue i'm like just like looking for the house that's built by <laughs> by tanger there's uh the, yeah. the minto development there yeah uh like if you kind of follow towards stitzville and the gps thinks that there's a road that goes through there to um there there's like an older neighborhood there Anyways, it I, it's sent to me twice now, so it'll take me <laughs> oh, like off Canada at Lakes, Tanger. like from there, from not Palladium Canada Lakes, to Canada. other side. Oh, towards Stitzville. Yes, towards. Yeah, okay, Stitzville. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Stitzville. But it means. thinks that there's yeah. a road there. Yeah. Okay. So it twice, twice I've done it where I'm just following the GPS. I go, and then there's like huge cinder blocks in the way. I'm like, I can't even go through here. But then the only way to get back is to go all the way oh, back yeah. to the highway, oh, back God. off at the next exit. Like you have to go all the way oh, around. Wow. Ridiculous. Twice. So, so you said this happened to you twice. Yeah. Me thinking the second time, <laughs> maybe it's good now. You know, I well, you also don't see like yeah, twelve yeah. steps ahead, right? Like yeah. I'm yeah, just following the follow GPS, yeah. and then all but of a sudden I'm like by Tango. I'm like, oh shit, it still here we go again. To be like the same day, kind of thing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> like, this was yeah. like three months apart, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm yeah. thinking, oh, maybe they're so done. maybe they open it up yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you stuff. wouldn't even notice until you're in the spot anyway, and then you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Man, like sometimes like we see all these properties like for sale, right? And then the client be like, oh, like why don't we go see this property? And then like I'm going like, why do we take it out? The price is good. The cash flow is good. The, oh, yeah, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, what's so shit about it? And then like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know how to explain this, but like everything. <laughs> like, just everything. It would know? probably be easier for me to list what's not shit yeah, about exactly. it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like the income is good. Yeah. <laughs> the, but that's what you got. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then you're going to spend all that income on dealing on the, with the problems on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're going to go for something that is, like, small piece of land close to a very busy road, like highway or something like that, 80 kilometers or more, 
um close to like industrial like plazas like like i mean like right like backing onto it or front of it something that's like abnormal from a residential standpoint get a really good price you gotta be cash flowing man you gotta be like you know protected from different angles but even at that i find that people just go well how low should it be you know, mm. and like, there's no, there's no real depth to the, to how low it can be until somebody says, okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, but it takes time. Like there's one property that's been going down like two, 300 K now. And then on top of that, I still lowballed it for a client yeah. because yeah. I'm like, ah, I just want to make sure it, there's a good padding. Yeah. And what's that good padding? I don't know. I, I, like, you know, but 50 K, 100 K. Yeah. So then when I do like, let's say it's in a really good neighborhood then i look for a comparable in a not so good neighborhood i see okay and go okay that price but it's in a good neighborhood so then that's a normal property okay cool so then i try to find correlate like that yeah exactly so i go okay hey like uh let's say you're doing westboro but we're gonna get venue price or we're gonna get uh, walkley price or something like that for the same mm -hmm. property okay well that makes more sense then. yeah you know so i could be in westboro but for affordable so then okay then that's not bad like and we were worked on a project like that too, yeah. and we couldn't see eye to eye with the sellers. We were representing the, the buyers, market. yeah, and and they think mm -hmm. they're they're just purely going based on this like you know algorithm of a cash flow versus the price. Yeah, but we're going yeah, but it's gotta make sense. Yeah, it's the gotta make size. sense for yeah. There's no development opportunity. Yeah. There's nothing. It's at it, that's and it's at at its peak of of what it can. It's at its best use. Yeah, it's the best use. Or when like the it. rent is like. I don't know half of what it should be. Yeah, I but love. They're those. asking top dollar. I love those. Yeah, yeah. Those it's are like, yeah, but you could get this. I'm like, okay. Yeah, but, but like, I, I what point not. are we gonna get? <laughs> like, what's this property called? An income property. Yeah. So, where is the income? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't base yeah. your price off projected. No, because then they go, okay, but other triplexes in the neighborhood sold for a million bucks. So then yeah, mine should be. That's because they're also making a lot more money. Yeah. Somebody went through it. You know, yeah. they had like vacancies and then you have and to they go updated. The headache of like. Yeah. Wait, the waiting for out. people to, to leave. Yeah, for the natural attrition and whatnot. So, like, these things take time. So, in order for you to buy a property that's going to be paying, you have to go based on the cash flow that's coming out. Yeah. Like, some people are moving into the properties like let's say like it's a family and then it's like two buddies or or two brothers or what well, doesn't matter two friends are moving in together yeah. they buy a duplex well you take this unit i'll take that unit and it's not cash flowing anyways yeah that's a different story yeah they live there for a year or two mm -hmm. okay so that that's kind of good for them like they they have that advantage but if you're buying just purely as an investment, you can't kick people out to raise the rent. You can't raise the rent randomly. And then yet the seller wants top dollar. So he, they got to eat something and you got to pay something too. Like, you know, yeah. just people don't know how to price their stuff sometimes. Uh, I've been given the flag that our time is up. But I still well, have so much to say. <laughs> Can I have another episode? Well, instead of yeah. talking shit at the beginning, you yeah. should have just said what you have to say. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jacob. <Yeah. laughs> Jacob's not coming back. Ever. Yeah, we, yeah. This is a like hostile you. takeover. Daniel took over he his doesn't studio. Like you. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody, for is joining another episode of BAM. Okay. I was introduced as Dan. But you oh. Yeah, Dan is short for Daniel. In most, in most. Or Danny. Could be Danny is or, just a name. Is that Danny is that the for same Daniel. for Doctor oh. Dan or uh, oh, Doctor Sharma? Doctor Sharma, Sharma yeah. yeah. Is it Daniel? Daniel. Yeah. You wow. didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Oh, you thought his name that? was just Dan. I just listen to what people tell me and yeah, oh, <laughs> assume that they're telling me their name. Wow. <laughs> cool. Yeah. The well, that, that was very interesting. Thank you, Elliot, for that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we know, in conclusion, Dan is short for Daniel. Yes. We all mm -hmm. agree. We're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what about Danny? If you <laughs> Danny is also short for Daniel. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining another episode of Bam. Bam. If you have any more comments on Dan versus Danny, versus please put Daniel. them down here. And subscribe below and like our videos. And for more uh, up-to-date information on the real estate market, investment, and just shit talking. Thank you. Bam, bam, bam.